Magmas. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Kings and queens, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Essence of Shay. Let's get started. In today's video, I will be talking about the nine ways to retain hair length and to grow your hair faster in a sense, but not really faster, but ways that I have grown all this hair on top of my head. It looks thicker now because my hair is thick, one, and I just washed it and I haven't retwisted my hair in how long have I done? like three months I think I want to retwist it for Christmas but I haven't retwisted my hair in a very long time but before we get anything started don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel um, leave comments below with anything you guys uh, want to see me do if you like my video so far don't forget to hit that like button and let's just get started so the number one um, way that you can grow your hair uh, at a reasonable time and to keep your length without it breaking off or you seeing a lot of thinning throughout your locks is moisture. You guys know I talk about this all the time. Moisture, moisture, moisture. And I'm not just saying just spray it in your hair and leave it in. You gotta spray it in your hair, massage it in, and be consistent about it. Like do it every day every other day whenever your hair feels dry moisturize your hair uh, i have a product that i want to talk to you guys about but before that even comes out um you can just use simple thing like distilled water or rose water whatever it is you guys know the deal just moisturize your hair number two that helped me retain my length was trimming my locks now this seems a bit of a stretch because a lot of people are out here telling you guys not to cut your hair or they haven't cut their hair and they retained all all this length and are continuing to do so and that may work for them but for me I trim my hair and I just did a video um, showing you guys how what I do like every when I decide to wash my hair because my hair doesn't really get dirty but when I decide to wash my hair mainly because of buildup is why I wash my hair a lot um, but when I do I, I, I do like a trimming phase and um, also, I also do trim my hair when it hits past my butt, but just trimming the edges of the scraggliness, you know what I'm saying, just trim, like trim your edges and then just like trim, groom around your locks, that excess like hair that's happening and that can cause shedding and it could cause weight on your locks and can cause thinning to happen like in the middle of your hair. So trimming is not taboo and is not bad to do with locks so trim your hair number three is to simplify the products that you use in your hair you guys know i tell you this all the time pick certain products like say five that might be a lot so let's say three pick three products that you know stand the test of time that have worked in your locks and stick with those and slowly incorporate another product but stick with the three and just use that in your hair and just leave it alone like i told you guys you guys need a moisturizer like a like a water-based solution you need oil to oil your your scalp and you need a good shampoo or a cleanser for your locks and that's all you need you don't need all these other stuff yes from time to time you can incorporate other products but have your three main products that you just live with and stick with that in your hair for like let's say do that with your hair for about uh, four or five months or three four months and see the difference in your hair as opposed to when you put all these different things in your hair. Number four is over twisting your hair. You guys know I, you guys know the deal about this already. It it breaks your hair. It causes thinning at the roots. It makes it even harder for your hair to grow. So just leave 
leave your hair alone for a while and don't overly twist your hair just let it breathe like I said for my hair I haven't twisted my hair in I don't even remember but I want to say it's probably been over two months I haven't twist, retwisted my hair and you see I washed it right and this needs brushing though I literally just washed my hair so there's some curlies that's happening but yeah but I just I I leave my hair alone and you see the healthy the healthy state of it it's just leave your hair alone for a while number five is low manipulation not styling your hair so much leaving it in a style like not styling your hair so much because that's another number that i'm gonna go to but you know like when you go to salons a lot or you do your hair yourself you always feel the need that once you retwist it you need to put it in a style you need to do all this kind of crazy stuff going on because you see other people instagram got you feeling like you need to get the latest style with your hair and you honestly do not need to do that so just low manipulation and it goes back to number four where i said just leave thy hair alone skis leave it alone for a while number number six is to protect your hair while you're sleeping um you guys know i tell you this all the time and any channel that i've seen that talks about natural hair they always tell you do not go to sleep without covering your hair um and covering your hair with a satin and a silk scarf and the reason why we push this so much is because cotton sucks out moisture so you did all this hard work throughout the day and then when you rest your head to go to sleep now you're basically gonna start all over when you wake up in the morning because you are now laying on cotton and it's sucked out all that moisture. And what I've noticed too, that in some scar satin scarves, like even if it's satin and you still sleep on a cotton, um, a cotton pillow the the moisture could seep down just a little bit and it sucks it out on the pillow. So I would suggest getting a satin pillow and a satin scarf to wrap your hair at night. When I was talking to you earlier about, this is number seven, when I was talking to you earlier or earlier about low manipulating your hair, I wanted to also discuss um, uh, protective hair styling in a sense. When you're tired of your hair, sometimes you look at your hair and you always feel like either you wanna comb it out, comb out your locks, or you wanna color your hair, or whatever it is, you wanna put your hair in a, a crazy updo, whatever it is, you don't feel like washing it, you don't feel like retwisting it. I feel that way too, but you still wanna kinda of protect your hair. And either you leave your hair out like it is right now, or you can put your hair in two strand twists, or lock knots and these these hairstyles last a very long time with locks uh, the problem that and they're not really a problem once you do it you just leave it alone for a while and just go on with your day it go on with your weeks whatever just continue moisturizing it and it it almost helps you not messing with your hair and when you take it all out you realize how your hair has grown how it's flourished because you've actually left it alone that was the last thing you had to worry about um, throughout the day because you put it in a protective style winter time is a good time to do protective styles um, because it's cold you really don't have time to even mess with your hair number eight I would say is to avoid hair salons avoid them avoid them like the plague simple as that um that i haven't been to a hair salon in over 13 years and you see how my hair is you don't need a hair salon to grow your hair you don't need a hair salon to take care of your hair you won't take care of your hair somebody else won't take care of your hair as best as you would take care of your hair is what I would say so avoid hair salons like zip leg I have a video up where I discuss this into more not more detailed but why I don't go to them check it out when I talked about protective hairstyles and lock knot twist and two stranded twist or braids 
uh, that you braid your locks and you keep it going or even if you get your hair styled by a professional and it lasts a while I would say not leave it in for more than two months because what you're doing then is kind of like restricting your hair from growing you're still the manipulation is like confining it so tightly that it doesn't know where to go so it just stays stagnant so I would say like after two months or three months to take your hairstyle out don't go for more than three months if I left anything out as to what helps you guys grow your hair and continue your hair length the retaining your hair length leave comments down below um i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe oh by the way i will be doing vlogmas this year and it's not only doing vlogs i'll be basically doing videos every single day until Christmas so if you have any video um, ideas that you want to hear from your girl um, during that time or whenever let me know because I've been thinking of, of videos now and I'm just like 25 days of videos what the heck am I gonna record so I need you guys' help like seriously because I don't want to just do vlogs my life is not that popping I don't be doing nothing so all this is gonna be me and you sitting down in my room talking like who got time for that um but yeah um leave uh comments below as to what you guys want to see from me it doesn't all have to be just about hair it could be about anything uh what you want me to talk about what you want to see uh if you want me to have people on my channel, whatever it is, let me know. And yeah, I'll see you guys vlogmas. All right. <laughs> see you later. Oh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I think I said that already. But see you guys later, Tiger Lilies. Toodles. Uh, crash course. Let me have the money in the dashboard. Max mad, could you love?